I don't care what you say, I'm not going to believe it because it totally has nothing to do with the flag or the national anthem because if you're going to force somebody by punishment of not being able to work for standing for their beliefs, like that's so hypocritical because you're saying that either you do what I say or you can't work. That's the total opposite of what America stands for. Is it though? It is. I mean, don't you think, but but don't you think employers all over our country are like make those choices in that like you can't um, like there's some I'm sure companies that if I walked into work with a a a, a fuck Donald Trump T-shirt on. Like that's they would be like, that's, that's not what. Bro, he did. That's a bad comparison. That's that's, that's no no that's no no. What, what I mean did, is, though. this is my this is my belief. You know what I yeah, mean? Like yeah. so, the idea that an employer but protesting like saying, Fuck employ- something the, the NFL things. or any M- NFL is anti-American because they are um, restricting the the your your political expression. Your, like I think that's common. I don't think. It's anti-American. I think mm. they are saying, you know what? There are other factors in play besides your right to express yourself here. It's it's well, like you saying the national anthem before you come to work every morning. Like if we, we all going to stand and sing national anthem, somebody doesn't want to stand for it. That that that's the which in which they're not obligated to do. So that yeah. it's, it's a bad comparison. Exactly. Yeah. Like fuck like, something. Yeah, like, like he wasn't that's anti. Horrible. Like that was not anti. Like it's a difference in standing for something and being anti something. He wasn't being yeah, anti-American. Like, he was standing. You, you're right. Else. You're right from your perspective, but can't you also understand why someone could perceive that act as anti-American? Yeah, ab- no, absolutely, no, I can no, no, see no. how see, they I, perceive it. No, no, but no, no, that's no, no, not. No, 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 no. But, but like we like they they perceive it as that because they choose to ignore the reason that he's actually protesting. Hey, let's call this what I think we're getting confused. I, I think you are confused at what you're looking at. Let me. What you're looking at is not that. What you're looking at is, um, Rock Colin Kaepernick is not standing for the national anthem. So now you got other players and other teams not standing for the national anthem. Next, Colin Kaepernick is going to say, players need guarantees. Say players okay, need more pensions. Say that again. Players need guaranteed contracts. Next, Colin Kaepernick might say players need um better pensions. Colin Kaepernick is the Nat Turner that you have to eliminate. Yes. That's what this is about. He it's not about anything other than that. He is a, he is the one that you got to get to him the hell out of here because he's he's making everybody else go. Wait a minute. He's that leader that you have to eliminate because he's going to cause more problems for them that they don't want. So don't don't think this is the flag and these owners never served in the freaking military. Never they they objected. Conscious objected guys. <laughs> they don't they give make, a damn about the military. Yeah, they make the military not, pay I'm them to, saying, to, to, to put the flag there in the first place. Them. I'm not saying it's impacting them emotionally. I'm saying it's impacting their fan base. What's, what it is impacting is their bottom line. Yeah, and that's owner. what I'm talking about, the and fan base. Owners, I think any owner has the right to make decisions that impact their bottom line when it comes to who do I hire and who don't who don't I hire. And if as a as a as a NFL franchise, even if you might have more talent than the other, but if it's not so significant that it would make me overlook the fact that I'm losing money, and in this case, it's not. You're well, not that much better, in my opinion, like to where if I'm a jet owner, I'm a like, yeah, I want to bring you in and lose well, money. Well, no, that, I don't want to bring you think, in and lose money. I think, that's it's not where that. you, I think that's where you hit it on the head. Because that ties into what Keon said is where they don't respect. When you say they don't respect Damn. black people, <laughs> it, exactly respects, what I was about to say. it respect. It, it goes into the fact that they don't respect our spending dollars. They don't respect our our, our financial contributions. It don't. It, they don't respect our ability to stand together because they know that the fans that it's going to affect are the white folks who are not going to turn on the TV if they see Colin Kaepernick 
black folks are gonna do we're gonna be divided and we're gonna show up anyway because we're gonna say it don't matter if i boycott it don't matter because we look at it from an individual standpoint if every black person decided to say i'm gonna boycott then it would make a difference, but they don't respect I, the fact that we would do that. I, I, I agree with I'm that. I'm not even sure if, if it that because I don't know if we make up enough because numbers. In, yes, in absolutely, we do. Well, well, I, I know what would affect the players on the field if the it players would on the field the like as well. But yes. to me, this is not a to me. This is not a black issue to me. So, like, I wouldn't vote. I wouldn't boycott it, should, it. it should because be. it has not to me. It has nothing to do like this. These owners deciding yeah. not to um, hire Colin Kaepernick. It's not a racial issue to where I feel offended as a black man. You, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't but, me to but Al, you just said to me the word perception. And to you it may not, but to a whole lot of black folks, they perceive it that way. I know. I and agree. understandably so. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. so, again, if we look at it from the masses... The perception is that Blaine Gabbert, the guy who Colin Kaepernick beat out last year, took his job, has a job, and countless other quarterbacks. Jake Jay Cutler just got signed for ten million dollars. Like countless, countless right. quarterbacks are getting jobs, and you mean to tell me that you know the man who's standing up for black people, who is black? is not getting a job yes people are going to perceive that as as, as, as racially driven and, and I, I i i can't see where it's zero like race has zero anything to do with it yeah it, it, it totally does like to me that that conversation is so ridiculous that i don't even have it like like when someone try to name all the quarterbacks that he's better than like that to me that's not even like yeah but it's for but, me but, that's such but, a con- but, i can't even have here here, here. <laughs> answer me this answer yeah. me this what what is the proof that if Colin Kaepernick was a white person, he would be treated differently. Riley Cooper. Yeah. yeah I mean, Riley Cooper. How is this? How is this the same way? Because because Riley Cooper, like that's why I just said that there's a difference in standing for something being in, and being anti something. Riley Cooper went past standing for something. He wasn't standing for anything. He was anti. When you go on a racial tirade and say I will beat every nigger up in here on camera. And you get a contract extension, and then you get cut, and then you get signed by another team. Like he so, there's years good. of proof of that. What I so, what I mean, I mean, how is this? When I say how is this um, similar? How is this similar in that an NFL franchise, when they made the decision on should I hire this person, felt that they would lose money? Exactly because that's what, because it did, because it where, didn't. Like, Oh, yeah, to because, me, that's what it's based on. Well, yeah, it's that's what I'm saying, on, because it's, it's it goes on, back when I look to at this situation. Yes. Should I or should I not hire this person? Ow. Chances are I'm going to lose money by hiring this person. Exactly. And that all money. goes back to what Talented, Keon is saying is they don't respect black folks. Man, Al, do you not see that connect? Like you still lose money. Do you not like like most of the people in the United States are white. Like the the the, the, the power in this country is white. So when you attach it to money, you, it's you attaching it again to it goes back to white again, white sensibilities, like like yeah. like you don't you don't you don't get that though. You don't think like, they're black veterans that were offended by okay, Colin Kaepernick? And see, Al, this is this is where you're making them. The, the fact that he's kneeling was a um a, a, an agreement he made with the veterans. He was sitting and he, he no no, met, no no that's that's not like, wait 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 hold stop. On, bro, I, you didn't answer my question though. You don't think there were black veterans who took offense to him kneeling? Absolutely, I'm but sure I think the numbers are. are small enough. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. The numbers so are so small, me. minuscule in comparison to the white masses that it doesn't matter. You don't think there were black people, not black veterans, black people who were offended by him, what they perceived as disrespecting yes there okay. were some but I don't again the numbers point. are so minuscule it's not going to sure, affect the masses I'm of sure white Ray people Lewis is affect. offended I'm sure Stephen is a Smith is you know I mean I don't see your point I, 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 I'm there not trying some. to um, be, be my, ass my, right my, now. I don't understand my point is just that I think it's there's evidence that um, he offended a demographic that was maybe probably majority white but not all white 
And this demographic felt like, you know what? We took such offense that if you were to hire that guy, you would lose our support. And corporate America, we're, if you still support that that group, we're going to. And I understand y'all's point that if if the people who are who took offense to Colin Kaepernick not being rehired, if they had the same advocacy and unity and uh, put that type of pressure on the NFL, they would react differently. You're probably right. But I just think it's money driven, not race driven. But that's, that's all I'm okay. Okay. Right. First so, I, I got a problem I got a problem. I, I mean I'll I'll land here for me. Just when you say probably but not all like I I I I don't know what you're looking at, man. Well no, no probably right. it, it, it's it's all it, it, it is is it is like eighty percent white. Like it's 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 not like a, it's not even close to to when you say probably it's like um like he's offending black people as much as he is white and maybe it's a little bit more like is that kind of what would you say with meaning when I you said say probably, that? Because like I'm not out there keeping stats. Oh well, yeah, like, like I don't know, but you're thing. probably right. I just don't know. Oh well, yeah, here's my That's thing. I, th- I think if we're walking in reality, we know that when Michael Sam was coming out of college. If the NFL has said we're just not going to touch you because you're gay and you're standing for gay rights, that never would have flew. Like the NFL would never have gotten away with that. If you know T. Tim Tebow had come out and he said they said we're not going to touch you, and even though he's worthy of getting getting drafted, or they said we're not going to touch you because you're a Christian, that never would have flew. And again, I think it goes back to the fact that they don't respect black folks because they are able to do this and insult our intelligence when because you if you're having these conversations with like the Baltimore Ravens and you're saying that, you know, we're going to consult our fans, which fans are you consulting? You're consulting the fans that you already know are against you signing Colin Kaepernick. You ain't going into inner city Baltimore, the real city of Baltimore, and interviewing those fans. You're interviewing the fans you know are already against you signing him. So it's a charade. They already know what they want to do. They just don't want to take responsibility for it. So the fact that they don't respect black people and they don't respect their stances and that they're numb to most of it gives them the power to be able to do this because they don't respect the fact that we'll stand up for it. We're going to leave Cap hanging out there by himself. And, and when, I, when, I agree with you in the, the respect issue. I agree that there's not a consistent advocacy and um, for the for for black issues and economic and political. I, I agree it doesn't there. It's not there, and because it's not there, they shouldn't respect it. Like it's, it's not worth it. like yeah, and it, and, and, it all goes, of, and it goes no 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 wait 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 like I get that. like. I, they right. Why, why should we? Why are we? Why should yes. we be concerned that this demographic is gonna like take their money away when they don't do that? Exactly. That's not what they do. That, like, that's they why I'm saying both it, of y'all are right. Exactly. No, but, it's not. But, no. Wait, wait, uh, me, okay. It's wait, wait, not wait, wait, all wait, about money. That's separate from. We're not saying it's all about money, Keon. What he's saying is money has something to do with it because it's all sick. It's all. It's all cyclical. Like if you you can't go to one thing without it circling back to the other, so it's not all about money, but eventually the money leads to this, and this leads back to the money. Like it's all cyclical. I, they, basically, you are saying the team if a team signs Colin Kaepernick, their stand's gonna be empty. It's gonna be nothing but black people no, saying because white people gonna go 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 walk not away. Not saying, but I do think nope. they would take a hit. Yes. In terms of a demographic of people, yep. who initially will feel like, wow, you didn't take my values and the fact that I was offended into consideration. You hired that guy anyway. I'm not going to support you right now. Okay. I, I feel like we've gotten to the crux of the, uh, and I think we, uh, that's where we just disagree. I, I, I disagree that with that statement, but you, you, that's where you feel. And I feel differently. I don't think they would take a hit. And I guess you and maybe the owners feel like they would. And I guess that's where we, where I'm, you know, Hey, we agree to disagree. And and again, I, th- I think both of y'all are right. I think they would take a hit because there are enough, like like you said, the majority of people in America are, are, are white. So there are enough of them to even if not all of them decide to walk away, 
if, if if enough of them decide to walk away, it will make an impact financially. I just don't um, think they would. I think they would. It would. It well, would be. They already-